go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be going through Act 8.4.2. And you'll notice that my team is very similar to the one that I used in the previous quest. But I do have Diablo on my team this time. All right, now we chose the same easy path for completion. And I want you guys to look at this note. This one is a weapon note and it's actually kind of fun. Okay, so basically to disarm the weapon, you just need to get a combo of 15. Okay, that's it. Combo of uh, 15. And when they have the weapon on cooldown, so after you get to your 15 charges, you want to do heavy attacks. And that's pretty much it. And when I saw that, I went, you know who does really good heavy attacks? Diablo! Because that's how I want to put poisons on them. And, you know, in the last one, I said, oh, I wasn't going to use Hercules a whole lot. And then I did. Well, this time I'm not. For real, for real. All right? So as you can see here, I'm just trying to get my combo up. All right? And we're doing damage still. All right, there we go. We got hit 15, and there's the heavy. All right? Boom, boom. And the more heavies you do, the better. Okay? And look at this. All on cooldown. And more heavy. And look at Diablo's health. I just want you to know. Now, I should have done a lot more heavy attacking. All right? But I didn't. But that's what you want to do. So, for this entire path, choose some good def uh, good attackers to handle the defenders. But bring someone that has strong heavy attacks. Like, America Chavez, you can get your ends with her because she puts that stun on him when she does her heavy attack okay of course hercules can do this fight anybody really but you want to do heavy attacks now look at diablo's health after i got hit up like that that's why i like diablo el diablo that's why i ranked him up you may not see me use him all the time but when i do he shines Shines bright like a diamond. All right. Now, this guy here can be very annoying. I used to have to fight him in AQ all the time, and I hated it. He was so annoying. So, Nick Fury doesn't necessarily have a strong um, heavy. Okay? So, I'm just going in. Look at them bleeds. And see, every time I hit into the block, I have that placebo buff, which is going to do a lot more damage the more buffs I have on me. If you read the uh, node, that's what that node was telling you. The more buffs, when they fire that special off, ooh, look at that. He caught me with a little edge. All right, come on. Ew, caught him. I, I got lucky there. Okay, and there we go. Now we're doing some uh, heavy attacks catch him good mm. come on come on there you go look at that bleed damage just look at that but yeah this guy right here i really hate fighting him try not to um hit into their block if you can uh because that will hurt you unless their uh weapon is off cooldown uh, if I remember correctly, okay, I captured uh, the weapon this time. Um, 
if I remember correctly, if you get a lot of buffs, so don't go in with buff heavy champions, um, you will take damage. They put like a soul barb or something like that on you. Uh, look back on that and see. Uh, but for the most part, I ignored all of that because it's really easy to disarm them. You know, you just get your um, 15 or your, your, you know, every 15 kind of a thing, and you're good. Just do that, put that on cooldown, and then just keep doing heavy attacks. All right, see all those placebo buffs? All right, but I'm still trying to build up to 15. All right, see that? I got the soul barb on me. Look at my damage. Look at what's happening to me. That's why you don't want to do it. Okay, look at the soul barb. I got lucky there because I got to 15. Soul barb went away because I disarmed uh, the weapon. And now I just have to really just keep doing heavy attacks. But I didn't do that for some reason. Uh, I was mostly ignoring. Look at him all passive. Woo, look at that damage. Now, I've captured it. So now... They have the soul barb. However, he doesn't have a lot of buffs. So hitting into the block will put that placebo, uh, the placebo buffs on only when you have the weapon captured. Okay. And then that does extra damage. So I don't really need that. But if you bring in somebody that maybe doesn't do a lot of damage, play the node. Okay. Disarm, capture the weapon. Hit into their block, fire off your specials. You'll get that soul barb on them, and they'll take a lot of damage based on how many buffs. But that also goes for you. So if you go in there like with Hulkling, who has a lot of buffs, be prepared to take a lot of damage if the AI um, plays it right. All right, see? Every time I hit into her block, I got a placebo buff on me. Every time she hit into mine, a placebo buff. So I'm just wanting to get to 15 fast. There you go. Did my striker, got the um, weapon, and now I'm good. Okay, now what I didn't do here, because she's acting all kinds of frisky, um, was hit into her block a lot. But she can hit into my block too. All right, there you go five six placebo buffs right now because i have the weapon and then i fired off the uh, special and there's the soul bar look at the damage she's taking now look at that that's all soul barb right there you see it and that's just going to help you get the fight uh done faster so in that one you see what i'm talking about that's how you can do uh your path with Pretty much anyone. I don't. I, I'm trying to think, but as long as you have good counters for uh, the defenders, you play that node. I actually had a lot of fun uh, with the weapon nodes in general, and this one is no exception. It's fun. All right, here we go. I decided to bring in America Chavez, or is it Chavez? All right, and there's the heavy attacks which gives me a lot more um, hits, too. Okay. There we go. Bam. Disarm. Hit it with the striker. Now, I have the weapon. And I can keep doing heavy attacks, but I decided to do that nasty, nasty special, too, of hers. Very much, very much fun. And then here's some more heavies. Look at the damage. That wasn't even crit. I was getting 17K right there. Look at that. That was a crit. Woo! Just look at this. Oh, 24K crit. <laughs> America Chavez. Ooh, ooh. Hit him with it. Oh, nasty. Girl is a beast. Okay. So... Hopefully you see that you can bring in pretty much anyone that you want for this easy path. And as long as you 
play the node, you should be good. Now, I believe she is the last one on the path. And we just had her in uh, Winter of Woe. And I still have trouble uh, evading her special too. Not because I don't know how, but because I'm usually fighting the inputs for some reason. Uh, if you watched, uh, well, actually, I don't think I put that up. Um, I did one live. Uh, I just could not. I was doing it, doing it well. And then, oh, yeah, I did do. Um, I put up the Winter of Woe fight, not the uh, gauntlet, but against her. So you can look that up. It was annoying. I had it. I knew the timing. And yet I was still getting clipped sometimes. It, it was very annoying. Okay, so here's her special two. All right. Come on. I'm like, all right, I got this. Nope. I went back too early. I'm like, well, that's why I chose uh, Nick. And then that happened. Now, I want to know something. When I use her, I can never stop Nick Fury's second life. She's supposed to be the best counter against Nick Fury, and I can't do it. I don't know why. And I know that it's not as nice as they would like it because they're going to be fixing her. So I know it's not just me. But I'm just like, oh, sure, you did it. <laughs> but whatever, you know. I got uh, Chavez on you. There you go. Disarmed. Captured and bam, bam, bam. Look at that 56k crits. Uh oh. Whoopsie. Now, see right there? I said, you know what I'm gonna do this time? I'm not gonna go back early. I'm gonna block and then move. Some reason this game doesn't like it all the time when you do that. I can do it nine times out of ten, and then sometimes I'll try to do that, and it just will drop that input and I'll stop blocking and just stand there. That's why I get hit like that. It's because you stop blocking and then you don't do anything else. You don't evade, you just stand there, all right? Anyway, uh, we're gonna go to the left for uh, the boss and we're gonna be fighting this uh, Professor X. And let me see, did I bring in anyone? I don't remember. I know who I fought him with, but I don't think I brought anybody in. Did I? Yeah, Chavez was uh, kind of low, so at least I could um, bring in a full health kingpin. But I don't believe I used kingpin for this fight. If I remember correctly, I used Diablo. All right, but anyway, compelled duels can go Anyway, um, y'all know I don't like root, right? Kabam, get off the root. Anyway, faltering mind, you got to worry about and play around the um, falter. And, of course, Professor X has his own falter. So you basically just have to play, that, play around those. That's it. The compelled duel can kiss it. All right. Anyway, here we go. We're going to get him some good poison. That's what we're going to do. Poison him up. Come on. Okay. And see, Falter was ready. But, okay. There we go. But we're getting him down. And just have to know how to evade his specials. Like that. Because they're not going to let you move. Because Kabam wants to control you. That seems to be the thing. They want to control you. They don't want you to have control of your own character. They want to control your character when they want to. Can you tell I don't like Root? I got issues. Okay. Anyway. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Really? Just annoying. And then the falter. So that's what makes this fight... Just so much fun. But I want you to notice that Diablo doing it. Oh, 
Ho! Woo! All right. Even though they're stopping my movement, free me! Free me! That's what's up. So you basically have to be very careful here. Watch for the falters. That, that's pretty much what you got to do. And if you can stay away from him, then you're good. Look at this. Just smacking me up. But Diablo don't care. Yeah. Now, that's what I was waiting for. Hit him with it. Special three. Put all that. All that on him. Bet you you wish he was poison immune. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Falter's ready. So you got to swipe. All right. Here we go. But look at look at the, look at the damage from the poisons. Okay, got me with the falter. But that's okay cuz the poison took him out. El Diablo. That's what's up. All right. Anyway, that should do it for this video. Um other than Diablo, honestly, if you play around the falters, you should be good. If you have somebody that has true strike, maybe that will help you out as well. All right, anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he's swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.